Hey guys, welcome into our uh, week 8 team builder for NPBA. We're up against the Southampton Sluggers, coached by Ace Jake. Um, and she has a pretty scary team. In the top right hand corner, you'll see his team as always. Uh, he has Dragapult, Chi Yu, Corviknight, Mega Blastoise, Ting Lu, Terra Slurpuff, Alakazam, Delmice, and Terra Scyther. Uh, I think any nine of these ones could come. But if I had to pick six, uh, I think his top three come. I think Ting Lu comes. I think. I think like a. I think Mega Stories comes. So his first five, and then maybe Slow Pass slash Zam. Um. Because I have seen a game where a Mega Lopany was up against a Mega Zam, right? It was turn one. So Lopany Mega evolved. Zam, Alakazam didn't. Lopany used Fake Out, but the opponent had it in a, bo in a focus Zam and clicked Psychic and killed the Mega Lop turn one. Um, so I could see that happening. Um, I just got to be wary of that. Um, but if the sand does come, I believe it will be Choice Scarf to be able to outspeed a lot. Um, let's go with the team. Um, so bad at, um, not putting my next name, so. <laughs> uh, first up, we have a look at them legs. Our team captain, our Megalophony, on the Loft Knight with Scrappy, of course. There's close combat power up punch fake out and quick attack 252 in attack 120 in special defense 136 in speed with a jolly nature now the very good thing about this matchup is that his dragapult has to run a positive speed nature otherwise he um has the chance to get out sped by a max speed mega lock which he doesn't want so what i've done is i've sped crypt to out speed his next pass this one which is alakazam Alakazam hits 373, whereas um, we are hitting 374. Right, I am just going to double check this real quick. I hit 372, but we have to be 136, 136. Um, <clears throat> yeah, literally, um, close combat just eats into his team. Especially if I can get one power up punch up, we're doing half. At plus one, we're doing 53% minimum to a max HP, max defense, bold nature corp, or ambush nature corp. If we can get one power up punch off, we are claiming some lives. Uh, fake out quick attack, because we have Scrappy, uh, is doing a lot to Pult. Um, that's a way to get around Pult, is through our... Team Captain Megalop. Megalop just kind of goes crazy this game. Because it's not really a good switch in. Other than like max defense slow path. Um, but yeah, I do have to be wary about that unburden and stuff. Um, next up, we have Pocahontas, our Rotom Wash from the leftovers with Levitate. Uh, with Hydro Pump, Voltorx, Thunder Wave, and Defog. Uh, with 200 HP, 56 in defense, 252 in special defense with a calm nature. <clears throat> um, if you guys have noticed, most of his threats are special attackers. Right, most of his threats are special attackers. Um, but we have a little bit of defense in to be able to be 3 hit KO'd by Slurpuff. Uh, without uh, a belly drum up. Um... And Delmise, I think, 3-hit KOs us as well. Uh, Dragapult, 3-hit uh, KOs us without a boost up of its physical. Um, Hydro Pump and Volt Switch, once again, kind of just goes crazy into the same other than Pult. Uh, we are defogged this week um, to be able to defog away Ting Loose Hazards. Because uh, that is a annoyance this week. Purely with what I'm running this week. Um, 
so we have our work cut out for us this week. Um, I kind of have to play perfectly. Um, but I think we can, especially if we can Thunder Wave Slurp off and like Pult, I think we'll be good. Um, but yeah, I think that Rotom is very good this week, especially if I can uh, get momentum. Sorry, guys, I've literally just woken up. Uh, next up. You guys thought that I wouldn't use this thing. We have Wrath. A Wraith. We have Wraith. Our Zora Hisui, Home the Focus Dash with Illusion. With Shadow, with Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, Comeuppance, and Will O Wisp. 252 in attack, 252 in speed, 4 in HP with an adamant nature. Uh, and you guys must be wondering why you bring a Zora Hisui into a team like this. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, Comeuppance is a really great move. Um, Comeuppance is the Dark Knight version of Metal Burst. So, if, if hit by an attack, it returns 1.5 damage. Um, actually, I'm going to do this. That's what I'm going to do. Just so our HP is bigger. Right. We'll die to any hit, because we're not bulky. Um... <coughs> But it's, it's good, especially paired with our ability Illusion. This Pokemon appears as the last Pokemon in the party until it takes direct damage. So basically, our goal is to um, mainly I've got to see his team, and I've got to. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lead with this thing. Um, I've got to predict his lead. Um, my lead yeah i've got a predictor's lead we're going to lead it hopefully he damages me we click comeuppance we kill something the aim is to kill like obviously dragapult gu or tango those are my three annoyances this week uh but yeah this thing is here to be annoying uh comeuppance plus sneak especially on a pult if we can get that pult down or even wisp the pole. I'd rather sneak the pole. But yeah, uh, next up, also coming off the bench. Once again, I told you guys. Um, because we got the four foot win last week, couldn't bring Hokage out Entei. Um but Hokage the Entei is here. Uh obviously he is going to be a shiny Entei. Um and sorry, this is supposed to be shiny too. Is this shiny? Do we do shiny? Yeah, we do shiny. Um, he's holding a Choice Scarf this week with Pressure, rocking Eruption, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, Stone Edge, 72 in Attack, 252 in Special Attack, 184 in Speed, rocking a Mild Nature. Now, you must be wondering why I am rocking, um, this kind of set. We are rocking Mixed. Um, Scarf Eruption kind of goes hard. I'll be 100% honest with you. Scarf Eruption kind of goes hard. Even into like a tingly, we're still doing twenty five to twenty nine, and this of and this of its max HP, max special defense, careful nature. Um, we are mixed because Stone Edge is doing Fizz Mortis Cheese and Scorching Sand. Um, I'll be honest. Even a, even like a Dragapult. I uh, saying 41 to 49 from Eruption. Um, Scarf Eruption just looks too good in this game, in my opinion. Uh, plus, you won't expect Scarf Eruption. He'll expect the physical Entei. Um, and because we're Scarf, we don't need E-Speed. Um, and just in case, like, once our HP goes down, we do also have Flamethrower here. Um, Shadow Ball, obviously, for Pult. Um, Stone Edge is for Chiyu, and Flamethrower is for everything else. Oh, and Shadow Balls for Alakazam. Um, but yeah, this is 
here to outspeed a uh, max speed Dragapult, uh, which it doesn't have to be, but um, I'm here just in case he decides he go wants to go max speed. Um, but yeah, uh, next up, also returning this week, um, is Cup of Tea, mate. Or a cup of tea. Uh, a sinister from the leftovers of Heat Proof. With Machu Gotcha, Shadow Wolf, Scold, Calm Mind, we are Terra Water this week. 188 in HP, 252 in Special Defense, 68 in Speed with a Calm Nature. Now, you must be wondering why I've got Speed Investment in. Um, with 68 Speed, we outspeed a min speed boss mega blastoise uh, and we always want to outspeed mega blastoise so we do not get flinched by dark dogs um terror water sinister just looks too good in this game i was also debating terror water knackle stack both look amazing in this game but i decided to go with sinister because if we can get a few calm minds up we kind of just go ham uh with this move set do have to be careful of dumb eyes as well. That's one thing we do have to be careful of. Um, and like spec to you. Um, but if this thing is spec to you, we can kind of deal with it with our other pieces. Uh, moving on, especially with this our last one, uh, we have Jovicle. Uh, our Ogre Hunter Assault Fest this week. I uh, was Poison Point with Gunk Shot Crunch Liquidation uh, Aqua Jet. Actually, do I want to be? Uh, do I want to be in Tim? I'm debating whether I want to be in Tim or Poison Point. I think I want to be Poison Point this week. Poison Point looks good. Because um, he could be Special Pulp. Which I think he might be. Uh, yeah, 248 in HP, 8 in attack, 252 in Special Defense with a Careful Nature. This thing uh, is for Specs to you. Uh, if this thing is Specs to you, Overheat, we still have a chance to die. So you kind of have to scout throughout the game. Um... But this moveset here just kind of looks really good, especially if I can poison j Pult. Because if we can get Pult down low enough to where Lopini kills with Fake Out Quick Attack, Pult doesn't become an issue. Um, this thing also kind of just helps against Ping Lu. Uh, it helps against Corv a little. Um, helps against Corv a little. We do 19 to 22 with Crunch. Um... But yeah, that is the team this week. Um, I am trying to win this week. Um, I've done the best I can. Um, you might think this is a bit of a throw with this, but I'm, tr tell I'm trusting you it won't be. Um, I think this team has a really good chance. Um, you know, sitting the Necrozma on the bench, but I don't think the Necrozma is going to really do much this week with GU on. Um, but yeah, and I'll see you guys in the battle. Alrighty guys, we are into the battle. Um Alrighty, I see a Terra Steel slurp off. Um basically everything I predicted to come. Um let me quickly get this up. Whenever it will load. Loading would be nice. So Um, so yeah, good luck, have fun. Um, oh, I really want to lead Zora. I really want to lead Zora into and have Entei at the back. I think is what I want to do. I kind of want to lead Entei. Um, uh, I kind of want to lead Entei. Well, lead Entei. I think Entei is a pretty good lead here. Okay. The thing is, can he kill Entei? He has a chance to. Uh, but what is this doing to me? <laughs> I 
I kind of just want to click for muffins right now. Um, because what am I potentially do doing to him? He kills me if he is um specs, right? I'm doing the funny move. No, I'm not. Hold on, he hasn't picked yet. Okay, I can do the funny move, and we can kill this bolt right now. Um, he could hard switch, which is something that I kind of don't want. But I'm gonna do the funny move. Sweet, we are sashed. He's dead. Let's go. Let's go. Killing Pult. Wait, that didn't activate Cobra though. Um. I don't know how that works even. Killing Pult turn one is so huge. Okay. That's a reflect move. Oh yeah. Okay. Holy crap. Okay, it's your use here. Okay, I wonder if it's... What? I can't just sneak here. I sneak for damage. Sneak for damage, 10%. Um, we can actually calc that. Find out what kind of set it is. Yeah. Shadow sneak is 10%. Okay, um, so from here, um, I can kind of go this, and kind of freely click liquidation, um, Yeah, I can kind of freely click liquidation. Uh, I think his switch in is claw, so I don't want to gunk. Um, and we have a 20% chance to lower the defense by one stage. He has a Ting Lu. Okay. Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he is a... Um, He's max, like he's max max defense, uh, which is good for us. We just go thingy here. Uh, just gonna click defog. Um, well now that I know he's that, he kind of takes forty three to fifty one with pump, so I don't think he stays in. I'm gonna thunder wave. I don't think he stays in because uh, he's a fizz def set. So he's taking 43 to 51. I'm clicking Thunder Wave. I lose nothing from it. Okay. Uh, 
can't really do much to me. Uh, like he could ruin nation me. That's really it. He could whirlwind me. Yep. So we're just gonna thunder wave you. Um, I'm gonna freely click fault switch on you. I'm actually gonna defog first. That's big. I wanna volt switch now. Based off that damage, it does 34. Um, I believe he's going to dark bolt me. Um, so I'm just gonna go into overcool here. He's going to flip turn. Who are you flip turning out to though? That's my question. Go to begin getting this thing paralyzed is really good for me. Keep rocks off the field. He is a terror steel slope off. Bro, I'm just so happy I killed Polt turn 1. Uh, his Tinglu wasn't... Lefties as well, which is good for us. Because any chip we get on Tinglu now is really good. Because he's not lefties. Um, we're in a good position at the moment. He goes Corv. Um, I'm just gonna go hard Rotom, yeah, yeah, uh, I lose nothing by pumping, uh, I'm gonna pump, the reason I'm pumping is because I reckon he goes hard Tinglo. He's, so he's an eye defense body press set, which is good for us. We'll get another, hopefully another free lefty. Oh, he stays in. That's crazy. Oh, he slow U-turns. Getting that crit is massive, bro. Getting that crit is huge. Crazy stays in this while you turns. Like Blastoise is chipped down. Uh, this is chipped down. They'll have Roost. This is at 90. This is at 81. Like he can't freely go slow off as well. Because I just T-wave that thing. Uh, how much did crit do? Back into Blastoise. Um, bolt switching on this thing now. Um, so I crit did 58. So, yeah, he's uh, he's fizz def, he's definitely fizz def. Um, the question is if I go hard sinister right now, is the only thing I'm worried about, right? I go hard sinister. It does 56 to 66. I'm gonna volt switch. I'm gonna go into sinister. He dark bolts. That's okay. Because uh, I just tear a water and I can't mind. Big, 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 big. <laughs> Bro. Um, okay. Uh, I just think I scold. 
Oh no, I'm not your gotcha. Do I? <sighs> this is goaded for me. This is actually really good because if Chi Yu comes in. Alright. It's taking um It's gonna take twenty five to thirty. Um I die to specs. Which is kind of why I want the scold. That's a really big power. Uh, actually, do I just kill with Shadow Ball? I have a chance to kill with Shadow Ball. Um, I think I just Macha Gotcha. I think Macha Gotcha is the correct play. Because it kills this. But he might save this, right? That's why I kind of just want to scold and scout. Because she used the only thing that comes in. Oh, and call, right. I want to... Oh, he stays in. Fuck. Brother... I don't think he stay. I don't think he would stay in. That's really bad for me. I should have killed this. I should have killed this. I over predicted. I should just match a gotcha. Uh, if he goes slow up now, I'm in trouble. I'll be honest. Cause he'll be a buddy drum set. Based off this, I don't think he specs to you. I think he's Scarf. I'm in a good spot. Okay, I'm just gonna have some water while I wait. Yeah, okay, so Chi comes in. Uh, I can scout. If this thing is um, scarf or spix, um, uh, dark force is not killing me if it's spix. Uh, it is killing me if it's spix. Uh, if it's modest spix, it kills me. But I think he has to be scarf. Uh, I think I stay in and I scold. I think that's my best bet. Like, I can win this game without Cup of Tea up, I think. With how low everyone is. Um, I think I can win with... Um... Thingy. I'm looking at this, right? Specs, Modest, Chi, Yu, max, max Special Attack is 49 to 58. I'm scolding. Alright, if I die, I die. Alright, if this thing is Specs, good prep by him. But I think, I think, based on this, it has to be Scarfed. For this game, it has to be Scarfed. Because he doesn't want to lose to Scar Superpower and then he doesn't want to lose to Mega Lop, he wants damage. Nice. Q's dead. He scarfed. That's so huge. Um, I scold this thing. Every day of the week I scold.
Every day of the week I scold. Um, I'm just gonna double check something. Right. Next thing, this is unburden. Ah, uh, he could just win here. <laughs> I'm scolding. Yep. That's so big. Oh no, he fucked up the HP stat. I don't think it mattered. Looking at this. At plus one. Uh, I just always scold. I always scold here. I always scold here. As soon as you're picking up three. Uh, we get Shadow Balling, so I don't miss. As soon as you're picking up four. Um, and I'm just gonna Macha Gotcha. To get HP back. Uh, and then I just scold. G G's to Ace. Oh my days. G G's to Ace. That is a big win for me. That is a huge, huge win. GG's to Ace. Um, bro, I didn't even get to use Mega Lop or Inte. <laughs> as soon as you're picking up five KOs there, um, happy to see it. Um, GG's to Ace. Uh, it was a hard team to prep for. Um, I really needed this win this week. So, glad we got it. I think we're basically locked for playoffs now, I think. Um, so... Um, yeah, oh, I'm so hyped, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, appreciate it, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't, I'll see you guys next time, peace.